Hi, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. If it's your first time here, my name's Lee. Okay, so today I want to talk about um, is Russia pegging the ruble to the value of gold? Now, the reason I say this is about four or five days ago, the um, Russian central bank um, came out with a uh, press release and let me read that press release to you. In order to balance supply and demand in the domestic market of precious metals, the Bank of Russia will buy gold from credit institutions at a fixed price starting from the 28th of March 2022. The price will be 5,000 Russian rubles per one gram from the 28th of March 2022 through the 30th of June 2022. The established price level makes it possible to maintain a stable supply of gold and smooth functioning of the gold mining industry in the current year. After the period specified, the purchase price of gold can be adjusted, taking into account the emerging balance of supply and demand in the domestic market. Now, this has virtually been uncovered in Western media, but I think it's very, very important to understand that what's happened here is basically um, Russia have pegged the value of the ruble to gold. Now, I did a little bit of digging around and I came across this article by um, a publication called Kitco. And I'm going to read you some parts of that article now because I'm not an expert on this. I can understand um, that the uh, statement from the central bank is basically pegging the value of the ruble to the dollar. But I think this article, um, the person is probably more knowledgeable than me and explains it a bit better. So let me read some of that article to you. So it says, setting a fixed price for gold reminds some analysts of what the US did during the gold standard years. The period between 1879 and 1914 is known as the classical gold standard era, during which one ounce of gold would represent $21. Then in the 1930s, the US banned gold ownership and raised the value of the dollar in gold from 20.67 to $35 per ounce. That price remained fixed until 1971, when Richard Nixon put a halt on the US dollar's convertibility into gold, which meant that other countries could no longer redeem dollars for gold. In 1973, the gold standard was scrapped. That means in 1973, uh, that the uh, dollar was no longer tied to gold and it became a fiat currency and that's what's allowed America to to have um, dominance with the dollar because it, it it's it, it made the dollar the world reserve currency because literally they can print as much as they want without any consequences the article then goes on to say I am reminded of what the US did in the middle of the Great Depression for the next 40 years Gold's price was pegged to the US dollar at $35. There is a precedent for this. It leads me to believe that Russia's intention would be for the value of the ruble to be linked directly to the value of gold. Gainesville coins precious metals expert Everett Millman told Kitco News. Setting a fixed price for rubles per gram of gold seems to be the intention. That's pretty important when it comes to how Russia could seek funding and manage its central bank financing outside of the US dollar system. Gold is one of the most logical international currencies to use when you are trying to get around sanctions, Milman added. It then goes on to quote, um, in response to escalating sanctions from the West for Russia's invasion of Ukraine, Moscow said that unfriendly countries could be required to pay for Russian gas in rubles or gold, according to the chair of Russia's Duma Committee on Energy. 
If they want to buy, let them pay either in hard currency, and this is gold for us, or pay as it is convenient for us. This is the national currency, Pavel Zavalani said at a news conference on Thursday. Okay, so this is really, really interesting. So as um, the US, the EU, Japan, Australia and Canada have sanctioned the have sanctioned Russia. It appears Russia are now moving to um, strengthen their ruble, their currency, by backing it with gold. Now this would be something that, as the article mentioned, the US did for many, many years. And then once they removed the gold standard and turned the dollar into a fiat currency, um, they were able to basically print as much as they wanted to with, with very little um, sort of issue. And this has given the USA a huge worldwide advantage and it's turned the US currency into the world reserve currency. Um, and they enjoy a status um, that pretty much no other country uh, enjoy because of that. Now, it's very, very interesting. There's a lot of things now going on in the world. We have the Saudis considering buying, uh, accepting payment for some of their oil uh, that they sell to China in Chinese Yuan. We have India who are working out a system or have pretty much worked out a system to do trade with Russia in, in uh, a ruble rupee um, transaction mechanism. And we have um, Turkey, who buy a huge amount of grain, I think they're one of Russia's largest grain customers, who are going to do a deal to pay in their own currency. So for worldwide trade, um, and because Russia, uh, you know, control a lot of, of the world's commodities, then more and more of this trade is not going to be done in dollars, but it's going to be done in rubles. And I think Russia have moved to, you know, underpin the ruble with gold. Now, gold is the pretty much the worldwide reserve precious metal. When, when people are nervous about the valuations of currencies, they put their money into gold. So, you know, when investors are fleeing from the US dollar, they put their money into gold. So I think this is a very, very smart move by Russia. And something else that I want to mention, there's a business um, newspaper in Russia called Comastat, and there's a small article in there that last week the Russian Grain Federation have approached Russia's central bank to come up with a mechanism for their foreign customers um, to pay in rubles. Again, um, you know, realistically, dollars and euros are of little use now to Russia because, because of the sanctions they're not able to use those currencies on the worldwide market. Now, although these countries have also um, sanctioned gold, gold is much more opaque on the world markets and it's much easier using gold to get around sanctions. So again, I think this is um, why Russia have, have done this. And if we notice um, yesterday, uh, the ruble, really strengthened on international markets. Now, whether this was down to that um, Europeans are buying rubles to pay for the gas, because Russia have said that um, from the uh, 1st of April, that unfriendly countries need to pay for their gold in rubles, or whether it's to do with this announcement that Russia have tied the ruble to gold, I'm not sure, but at one point yesterday, the ruble hit 88 uh, rubles per dollar. It's now trading around 90, but again, that's a significant move and it's the strongest it's been for around a month. It's also interesting to look at over the last 10 years, Russia have pretty much um, disposed of a large amount of their um, dollar holdings and increased significantly their amount of gold holdings. And official figures show that Russia holds around 2,300 tons of gold, but unofficially it may be significantly more than that. 
In my opinion, this is the start of the end of the US dollar dominance around the world. I do think it will happen slowly, simply because um, there is still such a large amount of worldwide trade done in US dollars. Um, but I do think that the sanctions that the US, Europe and a few other countries have applied to Russia will absolutely accelerate this. I would imagine that um, China will be carefully considering their US dollar holdings. They're the second largest holder of US denominated debt behind Japan. Although Japan are an ally of the US, I would also imagine Japan will be looking at their holdings too. And I would imagine more and more um, reserves will be moved into gold or other currencies. Now, a lot of people are speculating that um, the Chinese Yuan could become um, a challenger to the US dollar. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. And the reason why I think that is because although the Chinese Yuan is increasing its um, share of worldwide trade, it's at nowhere near the level of um, the US dollar in worldwide trade. And also, China don't have um, a free capital market, so you can't move Chinese Yuan uh, in and out of China freely. So this is still um, an issue. Um, and I think China will eventually move to, um, you know, freeing up their capital market. But I personally think that is some way off at the moment. Um, I would be very interested to know what you think about that. As I say, I personally think it's the start of the end of the US dollar's dominance. Um, so we just need to wait and see how this pans out. But I definitely think that by Russia... Um, what seems to be pegging the ruble to gold is a big move here. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. But for now, as always, take care.